Hey everybody, I'm Jack with BoardCo. Welcome to video number one of our troubleshooting and understanding Centurion boats. In video number one here, I'm gonna show you how exactly the ram fill works and the ins and outs so we can really dial it in and if there is any issue with electronics or batteries dead, you can still drain and fill manually. Ram fill is the most efficient ballast filling method on the market. It fills the most amount of weight in the least amount of time out of any other boat out there. The way it works is there's two valves on the bottom of the boat that will fill while you're moving and the water will flood into the ram fill tanks and fill up 1500 pounds on each side of the boat. And when those valves open and close, it does it mechanically through these ram fill fill valves down here that you can see there is, this is the black actuator and that when you hit fill, this is actually what moves the valve, which is the, the arm on the ram fill that will go in and out. So when I press fill on the ram fill, this will move in and then when it's full, it'll go back down and close the valve. There are three ways that we can have this valve operate. The first way is going to be the day-to-day -day use, how it's designed to, to fill and drain optimally, and that's just on your ballast settings on the dash, you hit fill ram fill. You'll be needing to go between 9 and 15 miles an hour, but that's when it'll open the gates and water will flood in and fill those tanks while you're moving. The second way is with trailer mode, which is on your ballast screen on the dash, and when you hit trailer mode, it will open up both of the fill gates or both of the drain gates. Trailer mode is designed for when you're out of the water and the boat is on the trailer. That makes it so the valves will open both the drain and the fill valves so that any water that's left over will come out without having to move the boat. Uh, if you were to do that when you're on the water, water could trickle in and fill the ballast without you necessarily wanting it to. So trailer mode will open and close both valves while you're on the trailer to make sure you're never towing any extra weight um, with water in the ram fill ballast tanks. And then the third way is to do it manually, which I'll show you here. If you come down and grab the valve, there's an actuator here and a little black loop. And if you pull down on the black loop, that will release the actuator. You can turn the valve and actually manually slide it now that valve is open. Then to close it, you just put it back in, grab the actuator holder, and clip it right back in its place. And now it's ready to be mechanically open and closed again. When you're out on the water, sometimes some issues can happen where maybe your wave starts out really good and pro progressively gets worse or you start driving down the lake and your boat's lopsided because you have water in one of the ram fill tanks. Um, using the, these methods, that's how you can address the issue, whether your valve is unclipped or open when it's supposed to be closed or closed when it's supposed to be open. Um, you can come back here, open the engine cover, and check exactly where the, the spot of these arms are. So fill valve here, same spot on the other side of the engine, and then your drain valve is gonna be back towards the back. So. Here's your starboard side, fill valve, and then your drain valves. Back here, easy to access, but right behind um, that tank there. And same on the starboard side. So those are your four valves that are part of the ram fill system. The two in back are for drain, the two in front are for filling, and you just wanna make sure that those arms are attached so that they can mechanically go up and down. Um, we have seen sometimes that they get unclipped and that's when water's gonna come out of the boat when you don't want it to. But super easy to snap back in place and fix that issue while you're out on the lake, continue having a good surf sesh. Sometimes you can run into an issue, it's very uncommon, but the valve can get sticky. So when you're opening it, it'll stick a little bit. That's when you can use the manual method to unclip it. And if you just slide it up and down a couple times, it'll lubricate it. And 99% of the times it fixes it, clip it back in, and then you'll be able to address it manually through the dash filling and draining. To reiterate, you need to be going between nine and 15 miles an hour to fill the ram fill, and between nine and 25 miles an hour to drain the ram fill. If you're going faster than 25 miles an hour, the boat will be perfectly level and it doesn't allow the water to flow out the back. So 25 is fast enough, but it will drain. And then once you're on the trailer, if you use trailer mode, it'll open up the gates when you're not moving and then allow any extra water that might not have gotten out while you're driving back to the dock to pour out before you tow home. calls 
calls I do get from customers that are just going out for the first few times on their boat is that they take off from the dock and their boat is going down, listed down the lake, or going down sideways. So usually the first thing I have them check is to see if on trailer mode they forgot to hit close after they opened it up on the ramp the last time out. Because if you do not hit close when you're in trailer mode after you open them, it will stay open and when you launch your boat next time, that valve will be open and you might have some water coming in when you're getting out to your spot to ride. So it is important to hit close on that trailer mode when you're done using it. I hope this was informative. We have more videos coming in our understanding the ins and outs of Centurion boats and troubleshooting maybe while you're at the lake. So stay tuned to the next video and let us know if you have any questions yourselves and want us to address anything that maybe you've seen come up. Thanks. Again, it's Jack from Borco. See you soon.